Again, the goal here is election integrity and making sure our citizens have faith in the process. So as we wrap this up, um, what are our next steps? What's, where do we go from here? And I think there's legislation and I think there's uh, law enforcement uh, that needs to be involved. So I'm gonna name off set, you know, eight bullet points here um, that I think need to be handled by my colleagues and, and by our Attorney General. First of all, and what I have found perhaps the most unsettling through this whole process is the obstruction that we have seen from the county. Uh, the failure to comply with the auditor, a brazen willingness to violate a legal subpoena. Our Attorney General said that was against the law. Um, it's, it's truly alarming. And furthermore, to their willingness to expend significant resources, human capital, um, you name it, uh, to block and to stop this audit. As I recall, it was like $18,000 or something like that for one of their audits that they spent uh, money on. Uh, how much money have they spent trying to stop our audit? It has to be um, in the hundreds of thousands of dollars, but that would be an interesting uh, number to see. Um, number two, the numbers don't reconcile. As you've seen through, this is a th theme throughout all the reports, all of us as citizens, we should be able to pull up these election results and we should be able to, every direction, reconcile the numbers. If I subtract, you know, early ballots or if I subtract, or if I add the rejected, if I, you know, no matter which way, you should be able to um, come up with a reconciliation so that everything balances. That needs to happen. Um, it appears that they broke the law with duplicate ballots. And that's, that's a huge deal. That needs to be resolved. We need to get to the bottom of whether that law was broken, how to prevent it in the future, hold people in, accountable that did it this time. Churning of logs. The churning of logs. Uh, we need to find out why that happened. Who did it? What was the motive? What, what, and what was there? We need, to, we need to get to the bottom of the, the logs that were there. Chain of custody issue. Number five, chain of custody issues. Number six, a failure to preserve data files. And number seven, cybersecurity weaknesses that were, so, uh, that were shown by Mr. Cotton, so evident here. Those are not gonna get um, any better. <laughs> we're seeing people being held hostage via cybersecurity every day, and it's constantly becoming more sophisticated. We have to definitely need to up our game there. And number eight, the envelopes with blank signatures. We have a lot of questions there that need to be answered. So with that, Madam President, um, I look forward to working with my colleagues and with the Attorney General in any way to resolve these issues and to improve our elections and to increase election integrity in the state of Arizona.